Andrew Sterner from Just Another Sport Dog. Uh, I've had a lot of requests lately for some instructional videos. Uh, I had originally planned to do targeting as my first one, but I had a member message me and say he is going to trial for his PSA 1 shortly and would really like a video on muzzle acclimation. So I'm going to prioritize for him and I'm going to talk to you about how to acclimate your dog to a muzzle today. Uh, and then specifically, you know, you can use it for your PSA 1 trial. So uh, the way I like to do it for my dogs, obviously there's more than one method to train a dog, uh, is one, assume that your dog is already clicker trained and takes food as a reward. I can go into some other methods a little bit later on in the video, but that's uh, how I'm going to start with my dogs because I feel it's probably the easiest to do as long as your dog does take food. So the first thing you're going to want to do, uh, you see I got some muzzles laid out here before me, is purchase uh, some, they call them Italian basket muzzles. You can get them on Amazon, I'm sure they're on eBay, some other places. Uh, they're approximately $20 a piece. Uh, you'll see I have two here, uh, and that's for the different stages of training. Uh, the first one you can see that I have uh, modified. I've cut the end of the basket off and what this does is it basically allows for a very small step when first training the dog to be comfortable with a muzzle and the feel of it on his face and then you can see it also allows for him to completely open his or her mouth and take food as a reward. Alright then you see I have another uh, fully unmodified basket muzzle. And these do come with inserts. And what I like to do, and I'll, I'll show you, I'll actually do this a little bit later in the video, is I actually like to take my uh, second basket muzzle and I will actually cut just a very small hole in the end so the dog is still able to take food for me, but you can see that he'll get the actual full feeling of what the muzzle is going to feel like in closing his mouth. And we'll get to that cutting later on. Then the third muzzle is your agitation muzzle. Uh, in the PSA 1, to my knowledge, you are allowed to trial with this muzzle. I did for my PSA 1, uh, but now knowing a little bit more than I did at the time, I will probably on my next dog just go ahead and train him to walk around with this muzzle on. It prepares you for the upper levels. Uh, and this is what they're going to be using for bite work anyway, so you might as well get them as used to it as possible. So. All different kinds of uh, agitation muzzles out here. That's not what this video is really about. This is more instructional how-to. But there you go. There's your three muzzles. And next up, I'll be showing you the different steps on my dog Warden, who has already acclimated to the muzzle. Uh, and we'll go from there. All right, guys. So the first step I'm going to do is I have my modified basket muzzle here that I'm going to put on the dog. Again, this dog's already seen this, so it's going to look uh, a little bit easier probably than it's going to happen with your dog if you're doing it for the first time. Uh, but keep in mind, the first thing I'm going to do is just put the muzzle on the dog. I'm not even going to secure the back, and I'm going to click treat. And I'm going to take it off, put it back on, click treat. And basically, we're just starting off at a very simple foundation level. As long as your dog understands the uh, click food reward system and uh, let's see what happens. And then, you know, you can mix in starting to move like you're going to strap it on his head. Get away from that. Take your food out. Pay the dog for that behavior. Okay, and really, I should have the food ready already to pay him for that. So now I'm going to go behind, act like I'm strapping it up. 
I don't actually strap it up. I move that away and pay him for holding that behavior while I'm moving the strap it. Lutz. Sits. Lots. Okay guys, uh, I went ahead and modified the other muzzle so you can see that I have cut a section out of the front here. That still allows the hot dogs to pass through to the dog for the reward or whatever food rewards you're using. But it still has the front barriers and rounded edges here so the dog gets the feel of what an enclosed muzzle will be like. So you can see it's a little more difficult for him to get the hot dogs with the smaller gap, but he is still able to do so, and he is feeling the front part of the muzzle on him. Look. Good look. Good. Okay, so when I go to the agitation muzzle, uh, it is going to be a little bit different. Uh, so instead of just going right into it, because uh, this obviously is going to have a little bit of a different feel and it is going to be harder for them to breathe out of because it's so enclosed in the front for punching. I'm actually just going to put some hot dogs directly into the muzzle and get him to go in there and take the hot dogs for just putting his nose in the muzzle. Alright, so you can see, go ahead and uh, undo your straps. It might still get in the way a little bit, but I'm just going to put a few hot dogs in there. And I'm just going to see if I can get him to take it from there. Okay. And just do your best to click uh, timing-wise whenever he puts his nose in there to get the food to mark the behavior. I'm going to put a couple more in. Good. And so, like I said, Warden's already been acclimated to the muzzle, so he's doing this really well. Uh, if your dog is not doing it really well, it will take some repetition and practice, just like any other dog training. Uh, but what I'll do now is I'll start pairing a command to the behavior. Uh, so the dog's already performed the behavior. We're going to go ahead and name it. Muzzle. Good. Plus. All right, so as you can see, he's pretty comfortable taking hot dogs just out of the muzzle. So I'm going to put him in a sit. Uh, I'm going to try and make him give me a little bit of focus here, and I will just leave the muzzle on. I'm still going to put hot dogs in, but I'll leave the muzzle on in an attention heel position. I'm not going to strap it yet. All I'm doing is simply getting him used to giving me a focus heel with the muzzle on. So I have put the hot dogs in already. Sit. Look. We've already paired our command with it. Muzzle. Good. Look. Plutz. Hot dog goes in the muzzle. Sits. Again, the uh, behavior is already uh, done, so I'm going to name it. Muzzle. Look. Flats. Flats. So uh, you can see what I did there, I added an extra step. Uh, I went ahead and he got paid and marked uh, for putting it on to begin with. 
and then I marked it uh, when I took off and rewarded him for being calm while I took it off maintaining a focus heel. Okay, we're going to do it again, the same thing. Uh, this time though, I'm going to strap the muzzle on. Uh, then I will mark that behavior. I will click and then I'll take the muzzle off and then I will pay him. And then the next step after that will be to do a focus heel with the muzzle on. So, hot dog in. Sit. Muzzle. So I'm actually not going to strap it all the way right now. You can already hear his breathing is getting harder. Uh, so I'm just going to act like I'm tightening it all the way. One of the straps is done. You can see he is maintaining a really nice attention heel for me. So I'm going to mark this behavior. Okay, we're going to repeat. Muzzle. I am going to buckle it all the way now. Look. So if you've done all your steps right, you've taken your time, you haven't rushed anything, you can see the dog is still maintaining a really nice focused heel with the muzzle on. Puss! Alright guys, so uh, this is what a uh, final product should look like, uh, and then after this I'm going to go into some other activities you can do to make the dog more comfortable and even uh, associate the muzzle with a fun time. Uh, but right now what I'm going to do is put the dog in a sit, put the muzzle on the same way we've been doing it. I'm actually going to strap it on and I'll just do a couple of uh, change of positions uh, with a focused heel so you can kind of see what it should look like. Okay, so again, hot dog in the muzzle first. Sit. Muzzle. Okay, you can see the dog is still maintaining a nice focus deal. Good. Good look. Post. Okay, so I mark the behavior, take it off, pay the dog immediately, look, ask for attention back. <clears throat> okay guys, so uh, that's my first shot at an instructional video. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time to look at it. Please definitely leave some comments down below uh, discussion wise, what you liked, what you didn't like. Uh, I plan to do more. Uh, your critiques will help me get better over time. And uh, for sure, if you have any questions about the muzzle work, let me know. Some of the other uh, methods I was talking about, uh, acclimating a dog to the muzzle. Uh, put a muzzle on after you've taken the initial steps. Uh, you can actually kick a soccer ball around if your dog likes to play with a jolly ball or soccer ball with the muzzle on. And let him push the ball around with the muzzle on. Some dogs will get into it, some dogs won't. Uh, you could also introduce the muzzle with a little bit of training into some of the bite work with the targeting, uh, showing the suit or sleeve just like you would except with the muzzle on, let him get comfortable with it that way. Basically take his mind off of the muzzle and focus it forward on more positive things that the dog likes to do. So uh, www.justanothersportdog.com, uh, please visit the website, uh, please visit the Facebook page and I will talk to you guys soon.